Hello everyone! The last video introduces flux types and importance. This chapter will talk about how IT Intelligence Operation System and COP processes receive flux in IT operation. The first thing is to make sure receive flux are complete and sufficient. NCOD is made up of three modules. In order to process enormous logs and store them, N balancer is at the entrance, in charge of load balancing. To make processing more efficient, it distributes logs to N receiver, in which logs are stored and analyzed. The most important tasks of N receiver include normalizing logs, storing with various tabs, processing and analyzing, and searching with set criteria. Multiple air receiver can be an active active cluster, each being one another's backup if received logs grow by equipping more air receiver. The storage can be expanded and efficiency can be improved. The last module is N Center, which is for visualization, showing all analysis and data in charts. NCOG gets searching results in a snap where it stores data in NoSQL databases. NoSQL databases classify normalized logs with different tabs. When users search in the system, NCOG checks the tab of each log to find data fitting the criteria. No matter how many criteria users set, NCOG can finish searching within almost the same time and make reports. There are two examples of how NCOG improves security by collecting logs and doing analysis. Nowadays, DDoS attacks happen frequently and become stronger and stronger. They usually break victims' services and cause a great loss. One of the widely used solutions is traffic scrubbing. However, it also causes degradation to existing legitimate connections. Besides detecting DDoS attack with flow analysis, and sending blocking comments in real time. NCOD has a better solution, DNS log analysis. In most cases, before a DDoS attack happens, Barnet, controlled by hackers, sends requests to DNS server to find victim's IP address. The DNS server, knowing the address, receives lots of requests from all over the world. Its DNS log will abnormally burst, which is a sign that an attack will happen in the near future. NCOD has auto-learning function to detect bursts and send alerts, making IT administrators aware that DDoS is coming so that they can change the IP address or use other strategies in advance before it causes damage. The other is less by collecting logs of network devices like switches. NCOD can monitor if configuration files are modified, any interface is down or there is loop. IT operation can be much more complete than just with SNMP. With it, IT administrators can see the full picture of device status in home network. This is today's introduction. Thank you for joining. If you have any questions or require further information, please feel free to contact us. See you next time.